Okay, we're going to find the hydrostatic force that's acting on this side of the plate when we put the plate vertically into the water. And as you can see, this right here is a square. Each side is 4 feet. And from the water surface here to the middle of the square, altogether is 10 feet, okay? And let's review real quick. For the hydrostatic force, this is equal to pressure times area. And for pressure, we care about two things. First, we have to talk about the density. And right here, we're talking about water. So it will be the density of water. And because we're using feet, that's a US unit, right? Therefore, the water density in a US unit, it will be 62.5 in this book, right? Anyways, and then we have to care about the distance. That means how far down we are under the water. Okay, so what you should do is, we will start from the right to left. Let's find the area first, but don't get too excited and just go ahead and say 4 times 4 is 16. Because you know, for this kind of questions, we have to make sure we do the horizontal slices. And the reason is because the pressure up here is very different than the pressure down here. So we have to consider horizontal slices. Find the hydrostatic force right here for that horizontal slice. They have different pressure, so it's different uh, hydrostatic force. And then find out all those sizes and then add them up by using integration. Okay, so in order for us to get to work, we have to first build our reference frame, right? And for this video, I'll show you guys two labels because you can put down your x axis down below here, or right in the middle here, or maybe up here, or maybe even up here, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, first, let me just go ahead and just do it right in the middle because this is the middle and from here to here is 10. Um, after I finish this, I will show you what if I put the reference frame down here for the x-axis. Anyways, I will just go ahead and say, here is my x-axis. And of course, we'll just select right in the middle as well. This is going to be my y-axis, okay? So this is what we have. And also, let me just indicate this for you guys. From here, water surface to the middle right here it was all together 10 okay all right so we are making progress and now let's just draw a horizontal rectangle to help us out so let's see from here to here and my first goal is to figure out the area of this red rectangle okay based on our labeling as we know the rectangle has length times width for the area, right? And as you can see, this little height is just a small change among the y-axis. So this is going to be my dy, okay? And as you can see, um, this is always going to be from here to here, from here to here. It doesn't matter where I draw the rectangle, right? The length of this, sorry, the width of the rectangle, it's always going to be 4, right? always going to be 4. So that's extremely nice. This is just altogether going to be 4. In another word, we found the area for this red rectangle already. And let me just put it down right here. And as I said, I will do it from right to left. dy for the height and then the width is 4. So we have 4 times dy and that will be the area for that. This is super nice because the width right here doesn't change. So it's always 4. Okay. Next, we need to find the density and multiply with the area. So I'll do this in blue. Because we're using a US unit, and this is about water, so the water density is going to be 62.5. Okay, so we are multiplying this and that together, like that. And that's it, that's it. We don't have to multiply by the gravity constant whatsoever. This is it. And now, we have to look for the distance. Well, this is the rectangle that we're considering. We have to figure out the distance from the water surface to this red rectangle. Okay, as we can see from here to the middle, all together is 10. And as you know, because I chose this to be the x-axis, that means from the origin right here to here, this vertical distance will be just the y value, right? And why changes? Because depending on where you want to draw your rectangle, and you have to consider like all the cases, right? From here to here is y, and as you can see, from here, water surface, all the way to this rectangle, it will be 10 minus y. So that will be the distance that we have to use. 
and we just need to multiply 10 minus y. When we do this, this will give us the hydrostatic force that's acting on this red rectangle here. Well, how many of this red rectangle do we have? Infinitely many, right? So we are going to add up all the possible red rectangle. And as you can see, we're talking about dy. So you have to look for the beginning y value and the ending y value. So pay attention to the reference frame and pay attention to the geometry. This right here, all to get is 4. But we cut this right in the middle. That's how we chose the x-axis, right? So the starting y value, it will be all the way down here, isn't it? Right? All the way down here. And that will be two units down below the x-axis, that will be negative 2. And we go up here, this is the end, this is going to be positive 2. So we go from negative 2 to positive 2. That's it. This is going to give us the hydrostatic force. And once again, you can just do this whichever way that you would like. And just do it on your own. You will get 10,000 for the integral right here. And the unit for this is foot pound for the force in the US in the US unit. So this right here is it. And now let me show you what if I put the x-axis down below here. What kind of things will change right here? Two in a row. Nice. Alright, so now I will just go ahead and put down my x-axis right here on the bottom. And I will of course go ahead and just use the middle right here for my y and let me just put it on like this okay and once again be really careful this is the middle of the square and from here the water surface to the middle of the square this much right here is 10 okay right first of all funny area as usual let's go ahead and draw a red rectangle maybe let me just do it at the same place as how we did it earlier this is the red rectangle and then you know you still have the dy and this is still nice because it is still equal to 4 altogether, right? So nothing tricky in this one. So for area, let me put down dy and then we multiply by 4 and that's it. And next, density, same thing. So we multiply by 62.5, no problem on that. And now here is the distance. We have to be careful with this now. So here is my rectangle, right? And you have to be sure that now this is the x-axis. Still from the x-axis, vertically to here, that will be the y distance. So let me just draw it here for you guys. From here up to here, it is equal to y, all right? Okay. Well, we have to figure out the distance from the water surface to here. Hmm, let's see, what do we get? Earlier, it was from here to here was 10. But I need to figure out the whole thing. Well, do geometry from here to here is 4, and this is halfway, which is 2. We have to go down half again, right? Halfway again, so that's another 2. So altogether, from here to here, you have to use this value, which is altogether 12 feet down below to the bottom. Okay, from here all the way down here is 12. From here to here is y. That means when you go down from the water surface to here, it will be 12 minus y isn't it? So that's the distance, how far down we are underneath the water, and we're going to multiply it right here, 12 minus y. And that's the difference depending on where you chose your x-axis, okay? And now, same story as earlier, we are going to integrate all this possible red rectangle. In our case, well, the first rectangle is technically right here, and the y value is what? It's down here, so the y value is technically just 0. So we just go from 0 right here, isn't it? And from 0, we go up to here. That will be the last one, which is going to be 4. Once again, based on our choice of the reference frame. In this case, we will go from 0 to 4. And this is it. This will give us the hydrostatic force. And once again, you can just do this maybe on your calculator. We'll just do it by hand. Up to you, you will still get... 10,000, and that's foot, pound. This is it. It's not so tricky because the width is always equal to 4, and that's the beauty. And that's it.